This is a fan production, done for entertainment purposes only. No attempt has been made to infringe or supersede any existing copyright in relation to Doctor Who, which remains the property of the British Broadcasting Corporation. This feature is made on a strict, non-profit-making basis. Please support the official release. him sick if I've never been anywhere near him. Something in the environment, you said. One? It was just an idea. The environment being your home, Doctor. So you see, directly or indirectly, you are responsible. That's not fair. I was brought here the same as all of you. We've only got your word for that, Doctor. What do I have to do to convince you, huh? How do I prove to you that I have nothing to do with this? In my head. Try not to speak, just rest. He's in my head! Shh, 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 now. No, let him speak. He said he. He's in my head. What does that mean? Who is it, to? Who's doing this to you? He needs rest. We need to know. Two, tell us, who is doing this to you? Him! It's him! Well, well, Doctor. It seems that you have been accused. Please! Get out of my head! Get out of my mind! Doctor! Please! Ah! Is he? Yes. He's dead. Just like six. Such a waste of life. So, Doctor, two said that you were doing this. Would you care to comment? I don't know what he meant. That's some kind of mind control gone wrong, possibly. Don't be idiotic. Why would the doctor kill someone in front of us like that? And how? Oh, he did mention telepaths earlier. Could it be some kind of telepathic signal? I doubt it. That kind of telepathic control is extremely rare and hard to master. A memory, one? No. Just common sense. Uh, uh, hi. Um, does nobody care about me? Uh, uh, my head is too big for its own skull. We must help him. No, 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 no. You stay away from me. Let me help. No. None of you can help me. Just none of you know what's going on here. Four. Leave me alone. All of you, just leave me alone! I'd better go get him back. He's proven more verbal than the others. He might be able to tell us what's going on. Uh, and free? While I'm gone, don't hurt the doctor, will you? He could be our only ticket out of here. Remember that. I make no promises. Now, Doctor, I believe you're about to answer my questions. Where are you, Doctor? Where are you going in such a hurry?
tie him to the table. What with? I made a weave from the wall hangings for the raft. It should be over there. This is really not necessary, both of you. I assure you that... Hold still, Doctor. Ow. You'd think I'd be used to rope burn by now. Not so tight, please. I would still like to use the blood in my fingertips, if possible. That'll be the least of your worries if you don't start cooperating. In my experience, the basis for cooperation is not built on being forcibly attached to occasional furniture. <laughs> Done. Good. Start piling up the wood under the table. What are you going to do? I'm glad you asked, Doctor. You see, when we first arrived, we found that there was no means of escape. The main doors appeared overgrown and defied any attempt to be cleared. With no tools, we had to get creative. We used one of the chair legs as a makeshift torch, lit by the tallow lamps. Whereas the walls and the doors of this house don't appear to be flammable, there is no such problem with the furniture. You can't do this. You said to run that you wouldn't harm me. Ah, but you're forgetting, Doctor. One isn't in charge of me. Right, that's all of it. Fetch me a lamp, please, Seven. This is insane. I have nothing to do with you being here. Feeling the need to talk yet, Doctor? Is this what you needed? Thank you, Seven. Now, Doctor, I'm sure you don't need me to explain what will happen when I light this pyre. Seven, please stop him. He's mad. I'm going to tell you anyway. As the fire grows, the table to which you are strapped will get hotter and hotter and hotter. Believe me, I do understand. And hotter until the pyre and everything on it is incinerated. You're enjoying this a little too much, aren't you? Who are you, huh? Who are you really? Are you sure you want to do this? Do you want to get out of here, Seven? Well, yes, but what if one was right, huh? What if the Doctor is the only one who knows where the exit is? And that's why we're doing this, Seven. The Doctor will tell us how to escape one way or another. But what if... You've picked the wrong time to doubt me, Seven. If you want to get out of this place, then you will obey me. Listen to your friend, Three. He's right. This is senseless. I'm much more of use to you alive. I'd restrict yourself to speaking only when answering my questions, Doctor. Nothing more to say? Where is the way out, Doctor? I don't know. It's not good enough. Try again. I was brought here, the same as you. I don't know why or how to... Answer the question, Doctor. I don't know. Last chance, Doctor, or the pyre will be lit. There is no way out. That is a shame. For you. You see, I don't believe you. No! Where did you go? Four? Are you there? Just go away! Four, please, come out. I can help you. <laughs> How? How can you help me? You can do anything for two or six. You just watch them die. All you did was nothing. And you were a beacon of action. Well, what could I do? That's a good question. You have done nothing but watch us this whole time. We've been trying to get out of here and you have just done nothing. And what are you implying? One. I think you know. 
I think you have something to hide. As cliche as it sounds, <laughs> the truth is that we all have something to hide. Why? And in my case, I wouldn't know what you mean. How much do you remember? You know more than you say, and that much I'm certain. I think you know exactly who you are, and exactly what's going on here. So, that's it. <laughs> that's it. My big secret is that I know who I am. <laughs> oh, and how did you come to that conclusion? I spent enough time around you to see your difference. Your fearful bluster wasn't fooling me. While we've been trying to leave this place, you have been holding back. <laughs> following your urn agenda. <laughs> Ridiculous. Is it? You were in pain before, but now you seem incredibly lucid. Very well. You're right. While all of you have been playing this game of yours, I have spent my time reflecting, watching, understanding. And what is it you understand? Please, tell me. I need to know. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> I don't think you want me to do that. What? Thor? Thor? What are you doing? <laughs> Stay back. Stay back. This is getting a little uncomfortable now. What did he mean? There's no way out. Exactly what I say. Lies, Doctor. If we could be brought here, then we can leave. Ah, I didn't say you couldn't leave. I just said that there is no way out. Could we have this conversation sat in chairs, like civilised people, please? Enough of your riddles, Doctor. If you don't know the way out, then you are of no use to me. Whatever you're thinking, Three, I would advise against it. I might be the only person here that can help. You've yet to prove that to me. My apologies. It's a bit difficult when tied to a table. This isn't... We shouldn't... I didn't think you'd be the type to break under pressure, Seven. Speak your mind. Seven? Are you okay? You look pale. I, I, I can't... Spit I, it out, Seven. I think your ally needs some help. He doesn't look well. Your influence, no doubt. Oh, don't be stupid, Three. Help him, for pity's sake. You're in no place to give me orders, Doctor. Ugh. Stop this, Doctor. Whatever it is you're doing, leave him alone. I'm not doing this. You must believe me. Tell that to two. He was convinced that you were in his head when he died. Now, let Seven go. Mm -hmm. I promise that you will die before he does. Ah! Three, this isn't me. Please. Enough, Doctor. I can't stomach your pathetic begging. You can't mentally attack people if you're dead. Three, stop this. Then you die. Three! <laughs> There aren't going to be any chairs left in this place at this rate. Thank you for your timely intervention, Five. Now, if you wouldn't mind untying me, it's getting a little toasty down here. That was strangely exhilarating. I did keep her hood tight, tees. <coughs> Seven did. <coughs> Where did he go? <coughs> Seven was just here. I think he went towards the gallery. <coughs> I need to get you on site first before we all die of smoke inhalation. <coughs> Quickly. We need to help him. <coughs> He's been affected. Doctor, is, <coughs> is he going to die? Not if I have anything to do with it. How are those ropes doing? <coughs> Got them! Ah, thank you. We need to find Seven.
He's not here. Where does that corridor lead? To the area where Seven discovered the river. Oh, gods, you don't think... Come on! Seven. Get back, Doctor. I want to help. Please, come away from the water. No, Doctor. You don't... You don't know what you're doing. Seven, please listen to the Doctor. He can help you. No, he can't. By being here... Ugh. He's killing me, and he doesn't even know it. What do you mean? Doctor, save the others. Free the TARDIS. You've seen the TARDIS? Seven, we can still work this out. You don't have to die here. It's too late. Doctor. Yes, Seven? I'm sorry. No! Quickly, we have to get him out. Doctor, Doctor, stop! Doctor, he's gone. The current has taken him. This is such a pointless waste of life. Do you hear me? When I find out who's doing this... Doctor, what did Seven mean when he said that you were killing him? What was he talking about? I don't know, but I have a very nasty suspicion. Seven showed great strength to communicate that to us. It was as if, at the end, he was granted an insight into what was happening here. But... Does that help us? Possibly. And what did he mean about the TARDIS? You mentioned that when we first met. He must have known what happened to it, which means it must be around here somewhere. Well, what does it look like? It's currently camouflaged as a London police box. Which is? Sorry, Five. It's big and blue with a lamp on top. Wait a minute. I've seen a picture of that. Where? I think we need to go back to the obelisk room. Lead on. Okay, let's see if we can find two along the way. Ah, um, Five, there's... there's something I need to tell you. No. I'm... I'm really sorry. Uh, Are you okay? The temptation to tell you that I'm fine is... I'm fine, Doctor. I'm truly sorry. So you keep saying. Sorry. If you continue to apologize, Doctor, I will assume that all of this is your fault after all. Believe me, you wouldn't like the response you'd get from me if that were true. At one point, I wouldn't have believed you capable of violence, but the chair you hit three with would say otherwise, if it could talk. Quite. I still don't believe that violence is entirely in your nature, though. It isn't. But be grateful that I used it to rescue you. I could have very easily left you there. Could you? No. No, I suppose I couldn't. The truth is, that's the first time I've ever done anything like that, I think. Do you remember more about your previous life? A bit. Well, you don't have to tell me, of course. I... I remember where I'm from now. I can remember some information from when I was younger. Like snapshots in my mind. I was born on Traken. Traken? You know it? Yes. Yes. A very dear friend of mine came from there. It was a beautiful place. Was? Oh, uh, um, I mean, well, it's been a long time since I've been there. Do go on. What else can you remember? I used to work as a foster. No, with the fosters. Tending the plants was a hobby, a distraction. Distracting you from what? I don't remember. It clearly worked, didn't it? <laughs> it's strange. There's a large chunk of time that I can't picture at all. But I get the feeling that I was in one of the groves when I was taken. There's this image of it in my mind. The panic I felt. Do you remember who it was that abducted you? No. No, I'm afraid I can't. Although, I think I now know what six meant. About somebody here being not who they are? Yes. I think that whoever took us from our homes has been here with us the whole time. It's like, I can sense that I'm right, but I don't know who it is. I have a few ideas. Care to share them? I need to find out for certain first. 
Are you sure this way will take us back to the library? Logically, it should. We should have managed to bypass the Great Hall. We don't want to bump into the tree again if we can avoid it. And anyway, this is your house. Shouldn't you know where you're going? As I mentioned earlier, this is meant to be Lungbarrow, but it's not right. An approximation at best. So, if this isn't Lungbarrow, where are we? And why does this place up to look familiar to you? All questions I hope to answer when I find the TARDIS. Come on, that's the library up ahead. Onwards to the Obelix Chamber. Uh, Doctor, where are you? Damn it, Five! You foolish girl! Don't you worry, though, Doctor. I will find you, and I will end this. So, one thing I don't understand. One thing? You're ahead of me there, then, Five. Oh, don't play with me, Doctor. You have the look of a man that has this all figured out. I believe that's what Trachonites call trusting the Keeper. Humans refer to it as winging it, which I've never totally understood. Well, even if you are winging it, you must have worked out something. Sorry, I interrupted you. I believe there was but one thing you needed answered. Well, I was going to ask why the others were saying that you were in their minds. Could it have something to do with your telepathy idea? Yes and no. I'm hoping we'll find out. Now then, you said that the tapestry showing the TARDIS changed image? Yes, it showed me that you were in danger too, like a warning. Hmm. And which tapestry was it? That one. And you're sure? Yes. Why? What are you going to do? Just as I thought. Is that... There you are, old girl. The TARDIS! Wait, that's the TARDIS? Can we actually leave in that? Do you want the good news or the bad news? We can't leave, can we? No, that's the bad news. Why can't we leave? You see those power lines running around the TARDIS? Yes. That is a hadron web. Very fragile, but lethal to touch. I could do with the good news about now, Doctor. The good news is that this answers a few of our outstanding questions. Such as? Since I've been here, I've had a slight headache, and I haven't been able to hear the TARDIS. Hear the TARDIS? Yeah, the TARDIS and I have a... connection. Telepathic, I presume? Absolutely. And is this Hadron Web thing the reason that the connection is cut off? I would say so. The Hadron Web does much more than that, though. I've seen it used before to harness the skills and memories of other living beings to... well... Create false environments. So this is responsible for the fake lung barrow? Precisely. I've only seen it powered by a humanoid, though. Never a TARDIS. Ah! Perhaps it's being used to amplify my brain patterns in some way. Hence why the others saw you in their minds. Yes. But that still doesn't explain why anyone would do this. Or who. The last time I saw a hadron web, it was being used by my old enemy, the Master. The Master? A fellow Time Lord turned renegade. We bumped into each other over the years. It's never been pleasant. He has a passion for elaborate schemes and melodrama. So, he could be the one that Six warned us about. But if he's your old enemy, why didn't you recognize him? He is adept at disguise, and he could be in a regeneration I haven't seen before. A regeneration? No, never mind. Too many questions. Who do you think it is? There was something that Three said to Seven earlier. You will obey me. The Master has always had a dictatorial way of doing things, although frankly he could do with another catchphrase at this point. So you think it was Three who abducted us all? I'm not sure. The only way I can find out is if we can find a way of getting into the TARDIS. Can we just break the web? Hit it with a chair or something? I'm getting quite good at that. <laughs> no. When I say fragile, I mean fragile for something of its material composition. Besides, we'd need something larger and heavier than a chair to get past the energy it carries. No, 
It must be controlled from somewhere, and therefore there must be a way to switch it off. So get looking for anything that doesn't... That doesn't belong or is out of place. Absolutely right. Oh, Doctor, that reminds me. Doctor! Oh, not now, Three. We're on the verge of some answers here. I'm not going to die like the others. Doctor, he's affected. Three, stop this. We know what's going on here. His nose is bleeding, Doctor. I think he might be wrong about... Three, listen to me. No! You can't kill me. If you're dead. Three. Look out! Die, Doctor! Just die! 